IAQ Clarified, brought to you by the Indoor Air Quality Association, provides helpful consumer-focused tips on indoor air quality topics. Here is another tip from IAQA training provider, Ian Cull. Hi, I'm Ian Cull, bringing you an Indoor Air Quality Association tech tip on defining indoor air quality. Although there's no strict definition of indoor air quality, it's a term used to describe the physical characteristics, chemical characteristics, and airborne constituents of air in buildings, with a special concern for the impact on occupant health and comfort. Let's look in more detail at this definition. What are the physical characteristics? That would include the air's temperature and humidity. What are the chemical characteristics? That would include gaseous contaminants such as carbon monoxide, radon, and volatile organic compounds. What are the airborne constituents? These are particles that are suspended in the air. They may be derived from a living organism such as mold or bacteria, but other airborne constituents may be inorganic such as asbestos and lead. The definition also highlights the importance of the air's impact on health and comfort. A comfortable building still needs to be healthy, and a healthy building still needs to be comfortable. Buildings should be designed and operated to avoid negative impacts on both health and comfort. Did you know that there are other factors affecting health and comfort that aren't related to the indoor air? For that reason, many prefer the term indoor environmental quality, or I. EQ. IEQ goes beyond IAQ and considers lighting, noise, overcrowding, ergonomic stressors, and contaminants that aren't in the air.